Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today I'm going to show you how to check normality of the data this QNS cutoff is test and how to check the hypocerasticity in the data through wide generalized test I've already shown you in my previous video how to check the Hitchcock elasticity in the data with the help of the Bruch Bagan test? Difference between the Bruch Bagan test and the wide generalized test is that Bruch Bagan test assumes normality of the data. It's one of the assumptions in the Bruch Bagan test. While wide generalized tests do not do this any kind of assumptions for normality of data, it doesn't assume the data to be normal. Even if the data is not normal, you can go for the wide generalized test of heteroselasticity and it will give you good results despite of the non-normal data. The data I am using is the same data that I have used in my previous video. And that is this data. Well, this is the same data. CSAD stands for the cross sectional absolute deviation. These are the market returns. These are the absolute values of the market returns. And these are the squared values of the market returns. Stata today I am using is Stata 12. Copy the data data twelve the data. Type the command edit, you will get the data editor, paste data, select treat first row as variable names. Now close this box, close Excel as well. Now, your variables will be shown here on the right side in the corner of Stata 12. Unlike Stata 11, where the variables were shown on the left hand corner of the Stata. Now, to start with, we can check normality of all the variables by typing the command. SK test. SK means the skewness in part of his test for the variables and enter. Here I got results for the skewness in part of his test for the set variables. Hypothesis for the normality of the normality test is the data is normal. Here from the p values, the probability values, you can see that all the probability values in each and every case of the variables is less than 0 0.05 at 95% confidence interval, which means that in each case the normality null hypothesis is rejected, which means that all the variables in my case are not normal. Now let's say, if I want to make these variables normal, what should I do? First of all, I have to draw an RVP plot for these variables, or for the variable for which I want the data to be normal. For that, first of all, I have to get regression. CSRE, the cross section absolute deviation is my dependent variable, and all the rests are independent variables. Now, type the command RVP plot. Let's say I want to check it for the market returns. 
press enter and you will get a plot of some kind. This is the plot. You can see. Now you can see here that the value that all the residues and market values graph is scattered in the whole graph. You can see these are the data points. Now if you can see from the graph that the data points less than the values of minus 0 0.02 are a bit on the side of the graph. There may be outliers. Now let's see if we drop these data sets or these observations. If you drop these observations more precisely from the data set and then run the normality test, then we can see what happens to the data. You can drop these by typing the command drop if market return is less than minus 0 0.02. Press enter. As you can see, Stata has deleted six observations. Six observations that were less than minus 0 0.02. Now again, go for the SK test for the same variable. Let's see what the results goes on. Now, now let's. Now you can see here the probability value has gone up to 0.426. Zero from previous results of 0.0007. Now you can see that here the null hypothesis of normality have been, have been accepted. It means that the data for this variable has become normal. You can do for all other variables as well. Secondly, if you want to check the heteroselasticity through wide generalized test. You can type the command I am test white. You will get the value here. This is the probability value for the white test 0 0.8831. The null hypothesis is the data is homocytostic and it is accepted. It has been accepted by the probability value. For the test, 0 0.8831 that the data is homocytostic. These, these are the decomposition of the M test, the M and Trivedi's decomposition test. It has been decomposed into parts of skewers and cut horses. But from here, from this probability value, you can take a decision. Whether the data is normal or not normal, you will get good results from the wide generalized test. It's better to do Schwagen test in terms that it do not assume the normality assumptions for the for its results to be better. Till now, I have Checked for the normality and heteroselasticity through the skewness process test and the and the uh, I am test wide the wide generalized test for normality and heteroselasticity. You can save these results in a similar fashion as I have shown you in my previous videos. Till now and till my next video. Allah is